The TACOM is a universal website extractor provided with visual data collecting technology. It will help you to extract data from any website. To set up data collecting rules for data call, just click on web page areas you want to collect, and data call will generate formula for passing content from the whole website. Data call can export collected data to CSV, TXT, Excel, Delia, and WordPress. Also, free blogs at WordPress.com, and soon we are going to add LiveJournal and Blogger export opportunities. If you need some other export formats, we can also discuss it. The Tecol flexible functionality can let you create tons of different parsers. As example, content by rules parser, content by keywords parser, search engines parser, SEO parameters parsers from the different checker services, email parser, social media parser, advertisements parser, online shops parser, internal and external links parser, proxy parser, music images and other file format parser, forums parser, etc. The Tecom functionality can be extended with plugins. Parser can also work through the list of proxy servers, log in to website before starting data collecting and use external browser to process JavaScript. Before buying the Tecom, you can try its demo version. The difference from the full version is that the demo cannot collect ex uh, collected data, cannot export collected data. Thus, before buying the Tecom, you can completely understand if it is able to accomplish your tasks. Now I will show you one simple example of the Tecol application for filling WordPress blog with articles from articlesbase.com. First we need to select category where we want to retrieve articles from. As example, we can take mortgage category to create financial blog category. Actually, the Tecol can be set to parse all categories, but at the moment we need just one of them. Uh, the second thing to clarify is what exactly data information we need to get from the page with article. As we are going to organize WordPress expert, let it be following fields. Article title, it will be exported as post name. Article category, it will be exported as post category. If the retrieved category does not exist at the WordPress blog, it will be automatically generated by data call. Article content, it will be exported as post content. Article U, it will be used to add source link to the post content. Now, when we clarified what data we want to collect, we can start creating data call parser profile. To create new parser profile, use Ctrl and shortcut. Now we will see new parser settings window is opened. In general settings, type in the name of new parser, for example, articlesbase.com. In general settings, we can also increase the number of threads used to accomplish parser tasks. In this case, parsing process will be faster. Uh, then click Save button. The next stage is starting URL step. Here we will put needed category URL. In this way we set parser to start from this URL. Then we should go directly, directly to the navigation tab. Here we will add one URL format, which will fit all the links from mortgage category, both articles and listing links. As you see, in this case, matching string is just the part of links we need to process. But as it is processed as regular expression, we can create very flexible URL formats with it. To avoid URLs with sharp symbol, they are usually linking to the pages where a parser already was before, we will go to the Matching Rules tab and type sharp symbol in all absent field. Now click on Save button. And at this moment, navigation setting is completed.
Now we will go to the data collection tab to set up harvesting rules for processing pages with data, means pages with articles. So we need to create four fields for saving article title, category, content and URL. Now we will use Visual Setting technology to create data collecting rules for articles based really fast. Let's start with title field. To create new field, click on Add button. Uh, to create formula for data harvesting, we need to open integrated browser. Here we loaded page uh, with the article. This is the example of page from where we are going to collect data. To generate extraction rule, we just need to find need the data block and click right mouse button on it. Now we can see generated data collecting formula. Here it is. In the text area below, you can see what extraction result will be provided with this formula. It is exactly what we need. Now we can copy formula to the clipboard and add it to the XPath for block setting. To clean field from tags, go to Extra tab and select Remove Tags Radio button. Also set First Radio button in Value Selection block. In this case we avoid getting unwanted extra group of data from article page. Now click Save button. The similar principle is used to set data collecting fields for harvesting article content. Open integrated browser, uh, click on block you need, copy generated formula, uh, save it to the XPath for the block setting. As for text, we can leave several in content, for example, paragraphs, images, drawn, and bear. So we select the third option. In various selection, we also select to open option first. To avoid collecting data from pages without articles, we should make content field essential for parser. Now click Save button. Category harvesting rules are generated in the similar way. Open integrated browser and click on the category of the article. Save formula and set extra settings like removing tags and first value selection. Click on save button. Uh, the rest data field overall is still easier to set. To save article URL we can use special values tab. Select URL to save it from parser internal variable set. Now we are complete with parser settings and we can test them on page with article. We can do that in navigation tab. So here we have everything what we needed to harvest. Here we come to the point where we need to create export settings. We open export tab, 
select WordPress, type in the name of format, add it, and go to the WordPress tab to make settings for. As header we will use title field value. As categories we will use category field value. As content will be combined from article field and link to article created using article rule field. To make active link we should add some HTML co code around the URL. Now we need to, set, uh, to stop XML RPK settings of the blog. Now that XML RPK must be turned on in the blog admin panel. Like it is already done here. After setting, click on the save button. Now we can test export, but know that before export test you need to get data for export by testing data collecting on navigation tab. Actually we already done that, but for example I will show once more. Now we see that data was successfully exported. So now all settings are completed. We can check how export test was going and we see that uh, parser created new category mortgage on the block. Come to the category, check post. We will see everything what we was harvesting. Now we can close settings and launch parser. Then we need to wait just a little time and we will see our mortgage category is filled with new posts from article base.